Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna go over my helmet um, moto vlogging setup. A few of you guys have asked me on Instagram and I've had one or two messages on YouTube about it also. And uh, let me show you what we got here. All right, for, so first, let's start with the helmet. I got a Harley Davidson um, modular helmet. I'm not mistaken, HJC has a very similar helmet. Um, the reason why I say that is because I, I just ordered this new visor and it's hard to tell, but in the little numbers here, it has the same ones that the uh, Harley Davidson one has had. Same model number. It says HJC model HJ-17. So with the uh, Harley Davidson helmet, you can replace it with the uh, an HJC helmet uh, visor. I ordered it from Cycle Gear. Perfect fit. Where I keep my GoPro, it's I got it off of Amazon. Um, I don't think I paid too much for it. I think it was like thirty dollars, made out of plastic. But it's got the um, GoPro mic adapter holder built right in. See how that just comes right out with the uh, GoPro Hero. I think five and up. You need to get this adapter. So I got this case that holds the adapter right underneath the GoPro. So that goes in like so. And then I hook up my uh, mic cables right into it. And then this goes into the side of the uh, GoPro. I'll take a picture and insert it here for you to see. And now if you look over here, look at the blue lines, blue ends, one line going in, two coming out. And that's because I have two microphones in my helmet. Now because this is a modular helmet, um, I routed the microphone lines on the outside and it follows the uh, contour of the helmet where it opens up like that. I can still use, open it and use it open and I have to worry about the lines um, the microphone wires getting pinched on the inside or not have or having too much slack or having too much wires on the inside floating around this is the cleanest way I found possible to get my uh, microphones in my helmet and have a nice clean look the brand of this um, splitter it's a microphone splitter is by Kin Sound. So with the uh, mic, with the uh, GoPros, you gotta be careful on the splitters that you get. You have to make sure that it has its two rings on the end. It's a 3.5, I think, millimeter adapter. I got one for the, uh, for when I talk, and I got another one connected, well, not connected, but near the speakers of the uh, Bluetooth communicator that I have so inside my helmet so you're gonna see two microphones I have a total of three this one here is for my Bluetooth communicator it's on a boom mic it's got a hard wire to it which I like um, this one here this little fuzz ball is the one that I talk into the uh, GoPro this one here has called a dead cat and what that does is it helps knock down on wind and I have it set up above my mouth so this is kind of like in between my eyes and my mouth I've noticed that when I had it lower I was fighting to edit my breathing a lot in the videos this mic here so this one's connected to my GoPro and then I have another one on the inside here in here I have a uh, the other microphone these are all giant squid microphones, by the way. Um, I've heard Purple Panda works really well also. So in here, you're gonna see, I'm gonna remove a padding just to show you. 
these just snap so right in there that's my um, earpiece for the uh, hater Bluetooth and then right behind there is my other microphone so that when I'm having a conversation that I want to um, put on my videos that microphone will pick up what I'm picking up in my ear it's a simple install nothing big and as you can see it's got a lot of, it's got wires there's a lot of wires in this and I have all stuff behind the padding in my helmet and this um, microphone um, because it's not on a boom like this one it's just a loose wire I have it taped on the inside so it doesn't move on me also on the bottom of the helmet right here I added a, uh, a chin curtain or a chin guard or I think it's called a chin curtain Can you see that same, same idea just snaps on what that does it helps keep the wind noise out of the helmet because it creates a nice seal under my chin so I'm just gonna show you how to install this I think every helmet's pretty universal you're gonna take your little flap here run it through there just like that I hope the camera's catching that and if you notice the wires here the wires here go right into there I have them tucked behind the foam pad and then it runs inside there it's so hard to show everything on the helmet because it's so tight in there but I don't know if you could tell there's all my wires it's all behind there it doesn't bother my head all right now I'm gonna put this back on to show you how easy this goes back in um, I did give myself a little slack here from the mics I tucked them in because this has to reach in there so this gets tucked in there that gets tucked in there that gets tucked in there just like that and then you're gonna find your red snaps line them up and you heard it snap into place and that little pad here I put a white blanket on the table because the helmet's dark I'm just trying to make it see if it makes it easier to see just tuck that little pad underneath the other one and just like that there's nothing showing nothing hitting my head nothing touches my face slide it in Just like that. Now you see the microphones, they're not nowhere near my mouth. Oh, they are, but they're not too close. They're more on my cheek, just under my cheekbones. My friend says I look angry. So um, I got my microphones at my cheekbones. I don't keep it down. And then for me to close this, I grab it by the chin curtain, hold it, snap it and snap it into place and I snap it into place so now what you see I don't know if you can see that but my um, microphone for the uh, GoPro is right here just below this line here and my uh, boom mic for my Bluetooth is also at my cheekbone and I lock this all into place there is no air in here whatsoever. Here, um, I also got this one on Amazon. As you can see, it's not the solid traditional arms that you'll see on other motor vloggers. Um, the reason for, I like this one better is because it it's all adjustable. I have it going down, forward, across, and like that. Before I got this case and before I got this adapter, I had just the GoPro on here and that case the original case that came with the gopro was sitting too low so so i ran that for a i don't know a couple of months i think and then um i was like i really need a microphone in my helmet so with this setup here i was able to loosen those screws drop it reset it and center it again because the lens needs to be centered with your face so on the helmet, I actually do use the, the GoPro mount. I find that to be a better mount. Things on there pretty tight. Like I can hold my helmet up using the mount and it doesn't go anywhere. And my helmet's not like, I'm pretty confident that that won't go anywhere. This is my moto vlogging setup.
Though on the GoPro itself, on the side, you actually have to remove the door. It's really simple. Let me show you. I got it over here. But I got the actual door right here. Um, I don't know if you can tell, if you look at it right here, there's that little like seat clip. All that does is you clip it in and it locks it into place. And you push it down, push it up, and it locks the door. There's a little rubber ring around here that creates the seal for waterproofing. So with that being said, with the door off, this camera is not waterproof. Do keep, it's a gel kind of ear plugs. I think it's for swimmer's ear. Um, just in case I ever get caught in the rain, I'll break a tab and close it off. It, I think it'll create a, a seal. I'm almost pretty confident it'll create a seal, but don't take my word for it. Use it at your own risk. That's my setup. And if you guys find this um, helpful in any way, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below and I will get back to you, I promise. Um, I think I've gotten back to everybody on my YouTube channel and my Instagram. So I hope you guys enjoy your night or day whenever this video comes out and stay safe. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.